there are around 3,000 species of spider found in the United States. Each of these spiders chooses to make its home in a unique place. For some, it might be a bush or a tree. Others choose caves or rocky structures. One particular species, Baronopsis texana, prefers the crevices of buildings or windows. Here, the funnel weavers can construct the tube-shaped silk structures they're named for while taking advantage of shelter and heat as temperatures fall in the months approaching winter. This is just one example of how the spider has adapted its lifestyle to the temperate forests of the southeastern United States and surrounding areas. As solitary creatures, the funnel weavers spend much of their time alone, building webs and capturing prey to give them the energy they need to grow and develop. The unique configuration and properties of the funnel web are adapted for both protection and provision. The wide opening allows for the entrapment of wandering insects, while the narrowing of the tube provides the spider an escape from potential predators. Unlike other spiders, the silk strands of the funnel weavers lack sticky compounds, allowing for swift travel across their webs to entrap prey. They construct a funnel-like uh, tube that goes into the grass or leaves or what have you. It comes out, forms a platform, oftentimes with other strands sticking above it. The purpose of that is uh, any flying insects or hopping insects usually get caught in those loose strands, fall onto the platform, the vibrations alert the spider um, that there's an insect caught, and these spiders are lightning quick. They come out of that funnel and they're on it within half a second. They just give it a quick bite, paralyze it, drag it back into their funnel where they're safe and out of sight to eat it. Once they have matured, females remain in their webs, but males develop a new set of behaviors. Now when the males mature, um, their lifestyle changes dramatically. They switch over to finding a mate. They pretty much abandon a predatory lifestyle and go into a wandering type lifestyle where they're searching for females. When a male finds a female partner to mate with, he joins her on the web. It is an uncertain move for the male. Um, cannibalism can occur. There are plenty of examples where females will kill a male. If she's just not feeling it for whatever reason, if the, uh, you know, if she's in a very stressed state, is already hungry, you know, she's not interested in mating if she's starving. Even if the male successfully mates, the female may still choose to consume the male. Having mated, the male has served his purpose and provides the female with the nutrients she needs to produce her egg sacs. After the egg sacs have been produced, the female awaits the arrival of her spiderlings, often surviving through the winter months into early spring. At this point, the spider dies, leaving her young to repeat the process of maturing web building, and mating. It is now the next generation's duty to carry out her genetic legacy.